It's a terrifying tale with a happy ending that's left these two women smiling. Two sisters and their mother are safely set up in the St. Louis area after escaping Afghanistan. It came as Kabul fell to Taliban fighters last August. Tonight News Force Caroline Hecker introduces you to the family who, with the help of a St. Charles man, has an entirely new life. Caroline. Well, guys, they tell me those sisters do. Since arriving in St. Louis, the arch is one of the coolest things they have ever seen. Their story, really one of the most compelling things I have ever heard. We all saw those horrific images playing out on our television screens of what was going on at that Kabul airport. These two sisters and their mother, they lived it. This is me. It's my friend. Pictures are all Fatima and Zara Nazari have left of their life in Afghanistan. Here I'm in the mountain. This my picture is my favorite picture. Fatima was a nationally recognized skier. Her sister Zara helped other women start their own businesses at a local market in Bauman, Afghanistan. That's where she met Andy Bass in 2019, in town for a marathon. He came to a craft bazaar and he, uh, he bought some carpets and something from a craft bazaar and, and then we became friends on Facebook. Late last summer, as the Taliban began taking over the country, Zara says rather than flee initially, she stayed to help those fighting in the Afghan army. But the situation became so dire, the girls and their mother fled to Kabul, where Bass, a retired Marine, helped secure visas for the women. Mr. Bass is a wonderful person. He's a real superhero. But the fight for freedom was just beginning, as they tried desperately to get past the Taliban to the airport gates. We didn't have any, anyone to helping us, to save us. It was... It was like hell. After 10 days of waiting outside the airport, the women made it to a U.S. soldier who checked their paperwork and let them through. We are uh, so lucky. We are now in USA. We have a good life, I hope, uh, here. It's my room. <laughs> <laughs> the family is settling into their new life in St. Charles living with bass until they get on their feet. When you see people that go through what they went through to get here, when you see people handing their babies over fences uh, to, uh, to Marines to get them out of the situation they're in, it tells you what America is. This is Santa Claus? A chance for a fresh start, the product of some very strong women. It's me and Mr. Bass. And a friend they met. In Kraft Bazaar in Afghanistan. In a market. And the women tell me they were at the airport that day of that deadly explosion that took the lives of 13 U.S. service members. Another conversation Zara told me about before they left home, a horrifying conversation she had with a local military commander where she told me he, she told him to please send someone from the military to kill her before the Taliban was able to get to her. We do have information on a GoFundMe account that's been set up for those girls to help get them on their feet. You can find that information on our website. Guys. What an unbelievable story and the generosity by Mr. Bass in that and uh, that those two girls are back to safety. Yeah. Come to expect that from St. Louisans, though, haven't yeah, we? Absolutely. Well, right. Caroline, good story. Thank you.